This is Mission Control Houston. One of the things that astronaut Karen Nyberg has been doing during her time on board the space station, in addition to all the different uh, incredibly busy science activities she's been working on, is she took up some uh, sewing supplies. She's always been a lifelong lover of the arts and the crafts, and one of the goals that she had was to make a piece of a quilt while she has been up on board the space station. That uh, piece will be brought back to Earth, and what she's doing is inviting people around the world to make pieces of this quilt to join hers. The International Quilt Festival actually began uh, this week here in Houston, and at uh, next year's activities, that is when some of her materials and this quilt will be uh, on display. But here's Karen Nyberg on board the space station talking about her process and some of her supplies as she takes part of this uh, quilting activity up on board the space station. Now that I've tried my hand at sewing in space, I can say one thing with certainty, it's tricky. Uh, first of all, it's keeping all of your, your things in, uh, in order. Ziploc bags come in very handy. I have to keep all of my extra fabric and thread and scissors and all of the, uh, the supplies that I'm using in a bag when I'm not using it so they don't just float away. So the bags come in extremely handy. When I'm actually doing the sewing and you want to have things readily available, I have this, this sheet of a pile of Velcro and I can clip it to, to Velcro on the wall and I can keep a pair of scissors, Velcro, my magnetic case with my needles, my spool of thread, and then also a straight edge, which brings me to the next point that makes sewing in space very tricky, is cutting the pieces out straight, uh, getting the correct seam allowance. Uh, you know, you can't, you can't lay things down and measure and cut. The fabric doesn't, I found myself taping the fabric to a surface, trying to, to get it to, um, uh, to, to lay it out. Um, I actually started using, I, I measured a three by three square on a card, piece of cardboard and I would actually trace this onto my fabric and cut what seemed like it was probably a quarter inch seam allowance uh, around that. And, uh, and then of course when I start piecing the pieces together, it, it becomes very tricky when the pieces do not have the quarter inch seam allowance that you, that you really had hoped for and uh, it's, it's less than perfect. I, I think I would have uh, chose a fabric that doesn't fray, perhaps maybe a felt or something like that. Now in hindsight, I wish I had brought something like that to sew with where you could, um, you could cut the seam allowances, don't matter, you just cut the design you want and then maybe do some top stitching on it to, to make something. Um, so so my, my experiment here of sewing and hand sewing, and I don't hand sew all that much, on Earth, I usually use a sewing machine, and so there's also that patience of, of hand sewing, and I respect those who who do that, who do that a lot. But but in keeping the things together, that in itself can make this a little more challenging. And then, of course, like I said, cutting the pieces out, getting the the the, the edges straight, uh, and then keeping it together. I don't have pins with me here, and so I've I've tried a few different things. I've tried using some some tape and taping the edges and I also I have five needles and I can use those as pins when I'm when the ones I'm not using and try and, and try and keep the pieces together. But also that can be tricky and it's taken me a long time. I'm almost done with, with one single nine by nine quilt block that has taken me quite a while, a lot longer than than you would expect um, expect it to take. But it's been fun. It's been a fun experiment and um, It'll be neat to have a, a block, a quilt block, that I could say was actually sewn during my time in space. This is what I've made. It's far from being a masterpiece. I've discovered several challenges with cutting and piecing and stitching and weightlessness, but it was made in space. I'll be bringing this block back with me when I return to Earth, and I'm inviting all of you to create your own star-themed quilt blocks. We'll be combining them with my block to create a quilt for next year's 40th anniversary International Quilt Festival in Houston, where I hope to make a special appearance. If you're interested in participating in this fun project, all of the important details are available at this year's festival. I can't wait to see what we make together.